Hello everyone and welcome to our StarCraft 2 live cast. Uh, for those of you new to my channel, uh, hit that subscribe button because I put out about four or five of my ladder matches a week, which are about half and half between high diamond players and master league players. So we got a Protoss phone here and I'm going to stick to Old Faithful and just two racks the hell out of this guy. Not enough minerals. There's three timings I have in this. One is my first marine pops, Not I go scout. Minerals. Next is around five minutes, I go poke with like my first marauder and units. Minerals. Try to arrive before he has warp gate. And those two pokes usually give me a good idea of what he's up to. Um, if he fast expanded the second poke, I gotta try to kill him then. And if he didn't, then I just plan for my usual 10 Not minute push out, minerals. which involves medivax, one ghost, and a whole lot of stim to bio. Game and that beats the crap out of him. Game resumed. So I don't bother walling in versus uh, Protoss. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. <laughs> Not enough minerals. Additional Just trying to double up on the close patches here. Not enough minerals. There's his SCV. He poked in and back. I wonder if he's up to something here. Let me take a quick look. Roger. Yeah, whatever. I don't see anything. Move it. Well. Bad news. Oops, forgot my gas. Nah. <laughs> Damn it. He's watching. Alright, if he's not harassing me, I really shouldn't be chasing him. And my second rack is going to be pretty late, just because, whoops, no, nope. I had a little bit queued up there, okay. Big job, huh? Not enough minerals. Gotcha. Gangway, coming through. Idiot. <laughs> By the numbers, boys. Looking forward to it. Upgrade complete. In the rear with the gear. So I'm a little bit slow because I keep pulling stuff off the line and uh, supply cap myself for a moment. But I'm not that far behind. This better be good. SCV ready. So he's got a zealot, so I'm just going to poke around here. A second, lots of chronobos saved up. Complete. I don't really know what that meant, but SCV ready. We could use some help here. Go ahead. Dude, there's another supply depot. SCV ready. Add on. Who wants some? Yeah, I can tell by my money that. Additional supply depots required. Orders received. Armed and A little bit more money in the bank than normal, so I'm gonna get my gas a little bit earlier. Kaboom! Go, go, go! SCV ready! Research complete. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. What's going on? Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Gangway coming through. 
Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. It's about to get heavy. It's no expo, I guess we'll just kind of poke up and take a look. So we took the sentry down. And we'll start in the factory. So I'm going to do a regular 10 minute push because I haven't seen any sort of fast expo shenanigans from him. And I feel much better when he doesn't fast expo like this. I think that's probably the response Protoss should be doing, but often don't. Sure, we got three on each gas. Yep. Okay, that's good. SCV ready. Gangway coming. Six, seven. SCV ready. Keep the ghost back a bit. There's an observer in my base. Don't have the energy to take it down. Kind of hide this guy. Don't want to be prepared for that. Research complete. Add-on complete. Kind of lost track of his observer. Oh well. You want a piece of me, boy? SCV ready. And I'm ready to move out now. Solo operative, right? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. SCV ready. Kaboom, baby! Base is under attack. Sure about that? Nothing to it. Come again. Armed and ready. It's go time. Go. Confirm. What's it worth? Base is under attack. Ready for dust off. Oh, it's on. Looks like he's one basing it still, which is interesting. What? You want something? DTs. Somebody, get me out of this mess. I've been waiting on you. We're screwed. About that. Ready. Go. Roger. Solo. 
Oh, I missed him. Put two on gas, because I got so much stored up here. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Big job, huh? What's going on? Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Ready for dust off. Not enough minerals. Engineering as you go on. You can Ready for dust off. You want a piece of me, boy? Immediately. Dropping off. It's Are about to ready? get heavy. Mineral field depleted. Oops. Sure, should we go on for here? Just by the numbers, boys. Oh, you want a piece of me, boy? Ah, uh, Metabax. Is there anything you can't do? I think this game's over. Sorry man, Metavax versus Probe Attack, you're in trouble. And that is GG. So, some uh... Wait, whoops. <laughs> Did I send SCVs? <laughs> That's stuff I was supposed to send. Good thing this game ended. <laughs> uh, probably worth taking a look at that game. Replay saved. DT is like kind of the bane of my existence. Problem with the two racks is, and especially reactor on a starport, you're not really prepared for DTs. Uh, plus, I don't wall off, so I don't get that buffer. Although it came by transport. Uh, 
Um, anytime you get a whiff of DTs, like when I saw that uh, Twilight Council, um, that's when I decided to kind of stop spending my scan energy, just so I could save some up. Nice thing about this Marine Scout is if he decides to go Stalker first, and if he Chrono Boosts it, you can usually get Probe Kill. Run home. I saw so War Gate was kind of. Uh, I saw the Chrono Boost is kind of high too. Which is unlikely to happen if you're actually planning to go DTs, because you can't. Chrono boost tech, so you may as well chrono boost your probes. So the only your long the only bottleneck is getting all the tech done. It's no upgrade or that's really important for it. Except for warp gate, and warp gate still finishes before you'd ever get a DT archives done. So did my little push and yeah, he took more damage than me. I was able to snipe a sentry, which is always nice. Ooh, we never saw the Reaper did. Probably not well, because he's on one base. It's not. It's pretty easy to notice your base getting attacked by a Reaper when you're sitting like half a screen length away. There's the warp prism. Still waiting on the Dark Shrine though. We should probably time those to come out at the same time, otherwise, or similar times. Maybe the Warp isn't a little bit ahead to get set up. But this right now is just wasted resources that could be spent on units if needed. <coughs> Maybe since you got the Robo, get an Immortal first, then get the. Uh, I don't know, it's just an option. So when he's still in one base, right here, that this should have been like my uh, the point where I started worrying. Whoops! How to throw away medivacs? Ooh, if I was paying a lot of attention, I think I would have seen the DTs there. But I did not. Go see alive, that's awesome. So first problem here is when I was getting hit by DTs. Alright, it's back it up a touch. Yeah, that sucked. That was a mistake right there, scanning uh, the DT. I should have used the EMP. I had enough energy for it, and that would have allowed me to keep more scan energy available at home. So I could have had three scans available for his DT drop. This battle's going to go okay. Most of my stuff is stuck outside of the battle. I really should have pulled back here earlier. At least that gives me a chance for the stuff to start firing. I was able to get in. Now he's got three of them attacking this, which is really nice for a couple of reasons. One, he's not killing my probe count. He can one, he can, or my SCV count. He can one-shot SCVs. Uh, these guys do 45 damage, 45 hit points with zero armor means it takes one shot. On a side note, if you get plus one armor, SCVs now turn into two shots from one shot. Basically, doubles their effective HP versus. Um, Dark Templar. Now I queued up my barracks to this zone and started to swap this out to get a Raven. But the nice thing is he's attacking all three DTs in the same spot, so one scan can reveal all of them. And if I was positioned correctly, one scan could have killed all of them. Uh, Stim is always a good method to run away. Um, when you get back home, you can always. Uh, Heal him up. 
And again, we'll back it up here. Looks like he attacked with all his stuff at once. Yep, again, two DTs together. Uh, what would make more sense is to put one in the mineral line, killing stuff, and maybe keep another one like back here, just picking away at a supply depot. Or back here, picking away at that. Or maybe over here, picking away at this add-on. Somewhere where I can flee. So when I scan to kill the one, you still got one left over. And that way I had to burn one scan for every DT, which is terrible economically, and also terrible in the fact that you can produce DTs faster than I can produce scans. So he didn't actually kill a whole lot of SCVs. Like, he killed some, but considering he had DTs in my base forever, only killing uh, 16 isn't a whole ton. Remember, most of those are offensive, because I pulled like 14 and lost all of them. Only now, I think. This is the only time he started going for uh, SCVs. I failed him on my, on my EMP there, but luckily my Raven finally popped out. Notice I, sw I had the uh, start port on the reactor. I quickly swapped it for the tech lab just so I could get um, that Raven out. Now at this point, a frontal push is going to be tough because I can't pull SCVs. I mean, I could, but then I'd severely hamper my economy because I'm already strapped on SCVs here. My saturation is pretty terrible. Uh, so he's pumping out two more medevacs, and then I'm actually going to get... My decision here was since my medevac count was looking pretty big compared to my, compared to my uh, bio count, that if I got two more with five medevacs, I could load up everything and just drop his main. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Also going this direction, it helps me keep an eye on maybe I'll pass over this uh, warp prism doing shenanigans on my side of the base. So here we go, and if we switch to his view, he's just noticing now, gathering his troops together. And five medivacs, all of them got energy. Looks like he was upgrading nothing here. <laughs> Just chrono boosted. I guess he just finished uh, uh, charge. This was kind of dumb. I should have fought with this. I'm kind of just throwing away all this nice energy worth of stuff. I'm also unsure of the targets. Uh, this could have backfired shooting the Nexus because if he got an army's air quick enough, then I wouldn't have been able to get the Nexus down. Soaking up hits with the Raven there, then pulling it back. That just means the Stalkers, all those hits on the Ravens, were shots that weren't being put on this stuff, which is... The DPS really high versus Bio when you got this many medevacs. Should be going after robotics here. Well, either that or these two pylons. But it's more or less over here. He pulled all these probes. So I'm sending an attack and accidentally sending only SCVs. But even without the SCVs, uh, those Marines should have been enough to kill the probes there up front. So I think with better use of his DTs, he could have easily won this game. I kind of overreacted on the response too. I threw down an engineering bay to make missile turrets, and I swapped the starport to make ravens. There's no point getting both of those. Like one would be plenty. Um, I 
I've toyed with having an early engineering bay in this build, but it mostly just makes me pretty weak because the 125 you spend on engineering bay and assuming you can get plus one, so that's another 200. So that's 225. Um, it's not as good having plus one on your existing army as it is to have no upgrades and an extra 225 worth of uh, units, like another two marines and a marauder. Uh, especially if you're doing this early. Um, the longer you wait, the more of an effect the upgrades has, but early game, say, it does some sort of rush against me, this can really cost me the game if I don't have my unit counts at max. But at the same time, if I did do that, you know, I, uh, I get some use out of the upgrade, and then I got an engineering bay for when I need to throw down an emergency turret. I used to also put my barracks like this for a reason. Like I used to build it like that and then build like a, a rectangle of supply depots around it. Just I, I leave a pocket open where I can build a missile turret and I can build it there and raise the supply depots and I got a I got a safe zone for the missile turret that can't get sniped by DTs. But that just seemed like a lot of effort for a scenario that almost never happened. Anyways, um, you know, check the description. There'll be a thumbs up link there. Just uh, something interesting I found in the StarCraft world and uh, something to entice you to thumbs up my videos because it helps me get a little more viewership. Anyways, with that, thank you everyone and goodbye.